Hi, everyone. Fantastic to see so many of you here in a physical meeting, finally. So my name is uh, Hannah Schuström. I'm the CEO of uh, Neola Medical. And today I'd like to tell you about our revolutionary technology for continuous monitoring of the lungs of preterm born infants with an instant detection of lung complications to let us save more children, but also save them to a healthier life without severe disabilities. So, Neola Medical is a late-stage development company. We were founded here in Lund in 2016, and we're based on very advanced research coming from the Department of Atomic Physics together uh, with the Department of Neonatology and Medicine. And we have developed the, fir the world's first medical device for continuous monitoring of the lungs with an instant detection of complications. We're aiming that for the... Uh, patient group of preterm born infants because there's such a great clinical need within this field. We have also now already before CE Mark sold a Neola research device to a university hospital in Cork in Ireland now generating real world evidence for us. We're uh, since 2020 listed on Nasdaq first North gross market in Stockholm under the ticker of Neola. So what you can see here is that we have a huge addressable market worldwide. The neonatal intensive care respiratory market um, is expected to reach 2.5 billion US dollars in 2026. There is also a growth in preterm birth, which is also leading to more babies being born preterm, but also that the development of neonatal intensive care clinics around the world. But also that there is a very large need of technology innovation within this field. The U.S. is a specifically interested market for us because there is a very high rate of preterm birth in the U.S. Uh, for many different uh, factors. Uh, we have more mothers being over 40 when they have children, but we also have the complications of, for example, uh, obesity and diabetes, which is also uh, causing this effect. In the US, we have over 22,000 relevant uh, beds where Neola would be able to, in the future, be standard of care for these babies. Also, the US is a very interesting market for us because the FDA has put specific projects in place uh, to promote the uh, uh, development for medical device technology coming into the pediatric field as they estimate that um, medical devices and technology uh, directed to children is 10, be 10 years behind if you compare it to the development of technology uh, for adults. So it's definitely a very important focus uh, to have more pediatric device coming into the, uh, this field. And it is because we have as many as one out of 10 infants that are born too soon and may depend on neonatal intensive care for their survival. We're talking about as many as 15 million babies every year. And the fact is that preterm birth is the highest cause of death for children under the age of five today after pneumonia. pneumonia. So this is a very important um, uh, topic. And uh, especially also the UN has put a specific a goal in place in their Agenda 2030 that in year 2030, so very soon, no child should die from being born preterm of preventable causes. So that's exactly the target we're working towards. Because as many as 50% of the very and extremely born, uh, preterm born infants suffer from very severe uh, complications because of the insufficient monitoring methods in today's care. They typically get a cognitive disability, they get sight impairment, they get problems with their movement, but also chronic breathing problems will, will hinder them from activities in school, for example. So that's why we have developed NEOLA, Neonatal Lung Analyzer, a medical device for continuous monitoring of the lungs with an instant detection of pulmonary complications. 
So what the doctor can see here on the screen is that they can follow what's actually happening in the lungs in real time, left versus right side lung. So what they're typically looking for here is here they can see the lung volume, but also the free oxygen gas concentration inside of the lung. So what's interesting for the doctor is to get the data that they're not having today, which is they're able to scroll back in time and to see these long-term negative trends. So is this baby getting uh, more or less stable, which will, of course, then implicate also their actions. But they can also see sudden changes, such as feminothorax or atelectosis, that they're now not seeing um, fast enough. And they're not seeing it today because today's monitoring methods uh, in the clinic is very old, invasive, and slow. So what you see here is... Um, is then methods that are only give a snapshot of the lung. So today's standard of care is uh, chest x-ray, which is done on a routine basis. And it's all very uh, well defined in research, the complications with having um, a chest x-ray done on a routine basis for children that could be the size of my palm. Uh, so it's definitely something that the doctors would like to avoid in today's care. But they don't have so many methods. So, so they do um, blood sampling, a lot of blood sampling, which is also uh, uh, quite harmful for these babies as they don't have so much blood and it's also very painful for the babies. So what we offer is continuous monitoring of the lungs with an instant detection. So I often get the question, so how fast is Neola? Well, we can see complications below a second as proven in our preclinical trials. Um, it's also very safe for uh, the preterm born infants, very sensible skin. And it's non-invasive, which is exactly what the neonatologists are looking for and especially the nurses who are very protective of the baby. So what I'm showing here today is new precision care with the potential to really upgrade today's standard of care. We're offering the doctors and the hospitals faster detection of pulmonary complications that can prevent further major morbidities decreased number of days in expensive neonatal intensive care. And this is something that the, especially the U.S. hospitals are, are looking very much into. But also decreased time for visual observation by the nurses. So in today's care, we have for the babies, for the very sick babies, we have one nurse per baby looking at the baby, trying with visual observation, see what's going on. For the less sick babies, we have one nurse per two babies. So today it's a very um, uh, personal, intense care. And of course, also our human brains are not developed enough to uh, see and understand these very slow negative trends, for example. So... With Neola, we ha really have the potential to upgrade the standard of care. And we have one of the key European key opinion leaders, Professor Dempsey, uh, who says that the Neola system has the potential to really alter the way we monitor these babies today. And what he focused on is especially the preterm born infants, but also term babies on mechanical ventilation so that we can monitor them more closely in real time, of course, decrease x-ray, uh, which no one really wants to perform on these babies, and also limit the blood tests. And as a proof point of how much interest we are getting from neonatologists, because this is the first time that we have continuous non-invasive monitoring of the lungs, we already before our CMARC sold a research version of our Neola system to Infant Center at University Cork in Ireland in September of last year. And they then started an investigator-sponsored clinical study of 100 newborn infants. So it was the first really large clinical study with the Neola system. 
And they also presented very positive results from the first 50 of these babies at a Congress in Florida in uh, late spring of this year. And now the study is uh, finalized and they're aiming for publications early next year. Also, during summer, um, the potential with the technology patented by Neola Medical was also published in pediatric research. So one of the most important uh, publications within our field. And we've also established a very distinct path to market launch. Milestones are very important to us. We keep track of them and we reach them. We have uh, just uh, been certified uh, for ISO 13485, uh, which was our latest milestone achievement. And of course, a necessity for us now as we're commercially focused and aiming for the next part of our uh, journey, which is very commercially focused. So now we're entering this commercially focused phase uh, where we are during next year of 2023 are going to focus on our uh, clinical studies and technical studies. We're in an ongoing process for the FDA and aim for a market launch just after uh, FDA grant. And when we reach market, we have secured a market um, strategy with a razor razor blade model that would also give us recurrent revenues. So what we're sell selling is one Neola per bed per baby and disposable probe sets that needs to be changed daily on the baby. We also have a clear commercialization plan where we're now in the first part of this plan, the pre-launch phase where we're aiming uh, for regulatory approvals uh, for the FDA for the US, but also see Mark for Europe. And then we're going into the launch phase, where, which we are already now preparing, uh, focused on 48 key US hospitals. We have, as uh, some of you who follows us, just also finalized uh, a big preferential rights issue together with uh, ABG. And uh, we now have secured also 44 million SEC uh, for our continuous development. We could also, as part of that rights issue, welcome a new third uh, major shareholder in the company of LMK Forward, uh, which I know a lot of you based here in Lund is, is well aware of that investor. So the proceeds will now be used to do our uh, technical and clinical validation studies during next year, but also operations and preparing for our market launch. We also have a strategy to build a very strong IP portfolio to enable con consistent growth for us. We're continuously seeking patents. We today have six patent families, and that's also growing. We also acquired uh, the final IP rights to an electronics platform in our product uh, this summer, which means that we now all own all relevant IP for our product. So, finalizing, why invest in Neola Medical? Well, we have a very large and growing addressable market worth 2.5 billion in 2026. We have a great clinical need and a demand for our product. We have an attractive business model with a razor razor blade business model to secure recurrent revenues. Uh, we also have a proven technology that's been proven now in clinical studies, but also in preclinical studies. And we have a highly experienced team. So with that, thank you so much for your interest and do join us as shareholders to support improving the care of preterm born infants. Thank you. Thank you for the presentation. Let's see if the audience has any questions. Um, thank you very much for such an um, interesting presentation and uh, a topic which is very close to my heart. And um, I'm, I'm quite um, intrigued and, and I'm just wondering, is your uh, plant price range is accessible to developing countries? And I'm looking at places like Africa and Latin America and um, Southeastern Asia, because uh, we do really have quite a, a, a huge burden of uh, preterm births. Thank you. 
Yes, and these markets are so important. We see a great uh, interest from India. We see a great interest from China. What we're seeing all over the world now is that we have more women being educated, which is a fantastic thing. They're also then waiting to have their babies uh, all over the world, which causes uh, an increase in preterm birth. We can also see the health challenges uh, all over the world, uh, also causing preterm birth, uh, and the implications for these babies is severe as as it's a, a goal in, in the UN agenda. Um, we're starting to focus uh, specifically on the US market because it's a very large market where a lot of investments is now going into predirected devices. So it's more a commercial uh, focus for us. But also because that is the regulatory authority in the world that is currently now putting ch children first and uh, who are really uh, making it easier for us to come with new technology um, to the preterm born infants. Uh, we do see in general that the FDA tend to be quite the, the first mover, and I hope that uh, the rest of the regulatory authorities will, will follow now soon uh, with similar projects. So, any other questions? So I'm wondering, you mentioned the study in Cork, but are there any plans going forward to further strengthen the evidence around this system? Yes. Uh, so now in 2023, we're moving into a phase which is really focused on clinical and technical um, studies. Um, so we are planning an observatory study on preterms that will be in the US. Uh, we're also going to do several preclinical studies. I see. Um, and you're taking this product to market by yourself, as I understand it. Would you like to elaborate the business model a bit? Yes, so what we can see is that, of course, we have um, a great interest from neonatologists around the world. Um, I could already have sold a, a couple of more uh, research devices if we would have had uh, the components. Uh, it, we have really been impacting uh, on that the, the past year because we see the interest from neonatologists who want to start research uh, with the NOLA device. Um, we are, however, um, being very clear and focused on which hospitals that we would like to, uh, for them to buy Neola and initiate clinical studies with us to make sure that the, um, that the, the research hospitals are also our first clients and then that they typically start with one to five Neolas and then to have them scale. And are you looking for a business partner in this process? Uh, we are um, in, in contact with different partners. Uh, the, it is definitely a possibility for us. Uh, we're not ruling it out and we're not ruling it out to, to go to market by ourselves either. So uh, that, that's part of, of our strategy moving forward to keep the doors open. But of course, it's quite rare to have completely new technologies monitoring the, the body and the lungs, which is so important. Uh, so of course, there's a lot of interest from the industry. Uh, there's also uh, a lot of interest to see if we're able to scale uh, to monitor other patient groups. I see. So let's end with a question from the audience. Uh, yeah, so I, I, I'm curious about the business model and um, uh, especially pricing around the consumables. How is that discussion with the regulatory authorities? How is such products priced in the US, for instance? That's a very good question. Uh, we have had a, a, a project uh, related to reimbursement and pricing for the past year. So we have a very good understanding of how it works with Neola. So Neola will be part of the uh, overall reimbursement for the neonatal intensive care clinic. Uh, what is really important for us to prove is that we actually can decrease the number of days in very intense, very expensive neonatal intensive care. And it's especially important for US hospitals as they get a much higher reimbursement for the first two days in care. So they have a financial incentive, not only a health incentive, to make sure that the babies are healthier, that their complications are discovered sooner so that they can increase the turnover and get in more babies with the higher reimbursement rate. Thank you. And thank you for coming. Thank you so much for listening.